Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today, as you might have seen, I'm at home because reasons. Yeah, we're all in quarantine here in Italy, so tough luck. But what to do at home when you can't go on your bike? Read a book, maybe. Play a game, also doable. Watch some YouTube, perhaps. But today, actually, I got an idea from one of the last videos I did, some days, that one with the zombie sounds. So, uh, as you might have seen there, my back wheel is in terrible, terrible conditions. And that gave me an idea. No, I'm not going to fix that wheel because, yeah, that one is busted. I'll have to change the rim eventually. But I do have this tool and my front wheel does need some truing. So I'll be showing you how to use this thing. Now, a few things to note. This thing costs about 40 euros. If you're a guy that has some mechanical skills, that's definitely a worthwhile investment. It will save you a lot of visits to the mechanic if you just need a slight adjustment to the wheel. So why not just jump right into it? Let's go! So after putting our truing stand on the table, we'll just need a spoke wrench and nothing else. We'll be taking off the wheel from the bike, not touching the calipers to not contaminate them, and put the wheel on the truing stand, making sure it's nice and secure. After that, we'll start spinning it, and with the help of a little pin, we'll start moving this thing as close as possible to the rim until we start hearing a noise. That will help us determine where the wheel is not true. We'll be moving with the wrench, the spoke to the right in a counterclockwise fashion to tighten it, thus moving it away from the pin. And we'll be doing the same thing to the left spoke by loosening it, turning it clockwise. It will reach the same effect and it will have to be done step by step every time we hear the pin touching. So this is a slow process. Take it easy. Small movements. Check the trueness every time you do an adjustment. And even the adjustments, half a turn, one quarter of a turn, even less than that. You want to go slow. It will help you achieve your goal in a more precise manner. Move the rim, move the pin, check the trueness and repeat. It will take you a while, especially if you're doing it for the first time, but I'm pretty sure you'll get the hang of it. It's not rocket science after all. So yeah. Enjoy having a true wheel again. After this, we'll see what this mysterious part of the tool is. This little flap simply helps us determine how round the wheel is. And we'll rounden it by tightening or losing two spokes at a time. And yeah, in a while, even that will help us get the wheel in its original form. So this is going to be it for this wheel. It still has like the tiniest amount of wobble, but definitely not something that is going to impact the ride. So yeah, I hope that you learned, kind of, how to use one of these. And if you didn't, well, I hope that I somehow entertained you. So definitely subscribe and hit the bell. And like if you liked it, dislike if you just didn't like me doing this. And see you in the next one. Bye!